creep, I got fish, I got salt water. Sells on the rocks, I got all cookies. Tomato works way out of all rivers. Protein skimmer make all bubbles. Got fish for sale, I'm finna place the order. If it's rare enough, I'll cross the board. Perimeter checks, it's levels to this. Macro lens, you see in the pattern. Snail shells, museum of the Vatican. I'm coaching this game, Gary Patterson. I'm on the Discord, verified, I let you in. I like my lives like ESPN. Just lost some Burnett, it call STN. It's part of the game when you destined to win. You see me on live, got questions, check in. Where the party continues, man. Yeah, this is where the party continues, man. We're gonna keep it rolling. Y'all just left from over there with Aqua Funk on that uh that great stream, man, as always. So right now we finna we finna get in these uh car vibes. Ain't no telling how long we gonna be on tonight, man. We gonna be kicking it, you hear me? So, so go, so go on and get whatever you need. Get your drinks. Get your your, your rolling papers. You know, cause we we finna kick back. You feel me? Appreciate everybody for coming in. Y'all, let me know what that audio visual, you know what I'm saying, looking like. I could hear me and everything. Hashtag late night crew, man. Daily know the vibes. Right now, we are looking at my community tank. This is live, you know. Got the fish rolling in the background. I got the uh, link posted down in the chat. Anybody trying to come up, man? You know I'm gonna stop by a new local Austin, man. Appreciate you. Like you say, we got Deli in here, man. Freaky Fish Lady. Jeff Kane, GNC. Got D1, man. Atkins came through. J Rock. First class. Hey man, appreciate y'all for coming through. You say, yes, yeah, sir. Hear you perfectly for sure, man. Y'all yeah, know the vibes. We're just going to keep everything rolling, man. Y'all going to come up, show your faces. Or, oh, shit, you know, show your tanks. Whatever you want to do. You ain't got to get on cam. You can just talk in the background, you know? That's how we do it around here, man. This is the Fish Radio. He say, yo, what's up? How are you fish freaks and geeks? Yeah, we fishing and geeking over here, Doc. 
So I'm coming down with a cold or something. Man. I, I won't be able to be joining tonight. Man, I feel you, bro. I had a birthday party for my little daughter, bro. I had all them little kids running around. They kind of, you know, had something in the air. So I feel you on that. I was kind of feeling a little on the weather myself. But it's slowly getting better, though, man. Hey, what's happening, Linda? I see you. Appreciate you for coming through. Is this the real COC? Please stand up. It sure is. All right. Man, if, sure. someone, if someone was trying to impersonate me again. Hey, they'll do anything to try to get up here. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> they used everybody they used everybody um photo that was in the, the chat to get up here tonight yeah it sounds about right too it's all good though hey what's happening craig i see you hey everyone come on aqua funk yo man y'all gonna start up here one time let's get it let's get it popping <laughs> Just for the people that's uh, coming in, we are streaming live on um, three platforms right now. We on Twitch, Rumble, and YouTube, of course. We got the, um, we got the Rumble link down in the description. If you're trying to get down with Rumble, man. You are monetized as soon as you sign up with the Rumble. So go ahead and use that referral code, man, and get down. He said, I'm here, whoop, whoop. Nah, for sure. He said, let Chris, nah, man, we ain't doing that uh, first class. <laughs> hey. Nah, for sure, nah, first class. We ain't gonna get down like that, man. It was a big, a big oopsie last time that happened. <laughs> Would you hit the wrong button again? Yeah. Hey, y'all. It just hit me out. Y'all stay fat finger in the phone, man. <laughs> I think I'm allowed to. I celebrated a bit too much yesterday with you guys. Uh, was you, you was tired last, uh, when you got up? Or it was hard for you to get up? <laughs> I had a good night's sleep. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, for anybody that did miss it, man, y'all get on a uh, replay SEAL Team 8. Y'all, uh, go check that out. Yeah, like I cut it just under 12 hours. Uh, I see it say D1 in the backstage, man. Is that the real D1? Let me know something. Please just show your face one time. Let me know it's you or something. Yeah, you can show your face. All right, for sure, for sure. You good? <laughs> you good, my guy. Hey. <laughs> Yo, 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 guys. Hey, what's happening, man? Appreciate you for coming up, dog. <laughs> what's good, fam? What's good? Yo, 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 guys. We got, we got a little uh, delay in the background. You might got to mute your YouTube. Good to see you. What's good, fam? What's good? There we go. Sorry about that. I know, that's all good, man. Sorry. He, he say, uh, uh, um, Mike B won the $25. Uh, plushy won my Apple Water Luck that I got. Uh, Carl won a plushie. My fish makes a won a plushie. Honey Viper won a plushie from June, and so did Craig winners yesterday next time i'm gonna have a whole hand off of <laughs> ordered already he said typically don't, don't go shopping stoned <laughs> no nah, you met, mess around spend all your paper doc <laughs> how much did you get <laughs> he said craig how much food did you get hey that's the real jeff what's happening man how's it going hey yeah yeah something to show doc? craig Hey, what's up, man? Hey, D1, you back? 
Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm uh, I'm having technical difficulties over here. First time doing this. Ah, right, shit. It's all good, dog. Shit. Get it right. Get it right. Yeah, What's that right yeah. there, Jeff? What's that? I say, what you got right there? This is the uh, whip tail fry. Whip tail fry. He said, "Oh yeah. snap!" The first time I heard Jeff's voice. What? What? GNC using catch my uh, stream with Mexicali. Wait, we yeah. we putting our fishes on blast right now? Always. <laughs> sorry, no. sorry. I, was, I got the kids to sleep and everything, but flat fucking man. Ah, for sure. Yeah. Nah, Jeff Kane's just showing us his uh his whip tails right now. The fish tanks. We got right here one of our main tanks. German Gunder. He's somewhere on the back. All right, I gotta get the feeding fish. You got a who? Feed fish. Feed fish? Ah, for sure. Yeah, I'm behind. Funk was distracting me again. As always, man. He said, send some more whip tails, Jeff. I'm trying to find. Man, what you have in that tank? In this one? Yeah. I got rainbow sharks, African dwarf frogs, a couple of Corridoras, and the mascot of the channel, which is a seven inch uh, the sheer. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, he's hiding. I can't like I can't believe he's so big and he hides in here. <laughs> like one second. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get him. I'm gonna hold it like this. Yeah. I gotta get so what what kind of Bashir is it? Baisha? Bashir. Oh god. Yeah, it's a... Uh... He said, oh, by sure. Where's Alex? Yeah, yeah he's going to have fun with that. I know. Senegal Bashir. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, yeah. I've seen baby Senegals at my local fish store. Yeah, they That's are so cute, cute. And they are cute and peachy when they're small. But then they grow to be this big and then they eat every member of your tanks. So I had to move. <laughs> all the members of the community tank into this smaller community tank in here i got the angel fishes the sword tails the gurami that survived oh, nice yeah uh, yeah yeah they're more cool and then i got the all the shrimp and betas and everything else all around basically i would show more but i'm not <laughs> yeah i got a bunch of guppies in here in this main <laughs> tank just so we could keep german gunder happy fathom them pop them popped out of the woodworks man he said <laughs> he said by sheer he said it's by sure yeah. <laughs> Oh, whatever. So, whatever someone let the bite should be <laughs> <laughs> Nah, they be they be giving them a hard time about that because some oh, people we, you know we've pronounce been it different. Debating different. this for a while. Some people Is it say biker. Biker. <laughs> well, I call I call them I call them Bashirs. I'm Hispanic, so yeah, I, I'm Hispanic. So for me, when I read it, it sounds like Bashirs. Oh, so okay, yeah, okay. makes sense. Yeah, I think I your tanks are like super clean, Craig. You know that I don't do much maintenance. The fish do the the maintenance themselves. Well, if you have a like, healthy balance in your tank, you shouldn't need to do too much. I agree one hundred percent with you. Like filtering and whatnot, I don't really deal with that much. I don't even do the test strips. Like once I set it up, I believe in them, and they just keep thriving. What's that? A red tail shark? I mean, uh, yeah, rainbow shark. Yeah, those are the rainbow rainbow sharks. Yeah, that's what they call them. Yeah, people. Some people they're say they, they're kind of aggressive. Oh, they are, but uh, German gunner keeps them in check. Nobody mess with this guy right here. 
he's definitely the king of this of this tank. That's a D1 fish guy. That's the that's who's showing the tank right now. Look, 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 look. Ah, oh, yeah, that mother look cool. Aquafunk says there. it's cool that, he, that you've got that Bashir in a heavy, heavily planted tank. I like oh, it yeah. too. One hundred percent, one hundred percent true. If you don't keep him in heavily planted tanks, they will jump out and you'll lose them. Like, like even though they have really? lungs, and they, right. yeah, even long they have, they have lungs and they can breathe outside of water. They need to stay hydrated, so nah. But if you have keep you him like this, he yeah. never jumps out. He has never done that to me. Um, actually, I can put my hand in the tank, and he doesn't even go to bite me. Other people, he bites them, and like go at yeah. their at their fingers. Let me let me test the waters right now on life. He knows like, who oh. you are. You you give him the food. You're you're the yeah. the blob that feeds. Well, well, my wife gives him food too, and he bites my wife. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah like that's right interesting. Now, so. There goes that thing. I thought it was like a you know you feed it, they they don't bite you kind of thing. Hey, Fathom said he just he just dropped the sub to you, Doc uh, D One. Oh, thank you guys, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Honestly, up, like what's next? Yeah, and then I got I got this right here. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't wake up. <laughs> I got the baby fishes right here. This is just straight up shrimps, guppies, mollies, and carrot neo carabinos. Okay. What's your what's your water changes like on that system? I, if any. I don't do I don't do water changes, bro. Yeah, good. Look, I shit, literally right? just, <laughs> <laughs> just pop them. good. I just fill them up for evaporation. Like when they evaporate, I just add yeah, some top more. off. Yeah, I top off with water, and that's all I do here. So far, oh. uh, I, that's that's what I, the premise is of what I started. Honestly, if I was like, if let's it's see working for you, it. yeah, if it's working for you, man, I say do it. Doc. Yeah, well, honestly, I'm actually really happy. All all of my fishers, they have just grown. grown and they just keep giving birth, bro. That's that's one thing that I can't like stop at all. Like I have a lot of predators and I just let them eat the babies because honestly, that's as far as we can do, you know? Yeah. The betas, no, leave the betas. Uh, actually, freak it, fuck it. Yeah, we'll come, wake them up. <laughs> this is the beta tank. I have blue shrimp oh, in wow. here. I got blue shrimp and and the beta fish, I I like to build the the decorations myself with expanding foams and stuff like that. Oh, nice! I like it. Yeah, this is like a this is a floating island right here. Like I get so that way I can move it and like check the status of the fish and shrimp, and it's hollow, so you, they can go inside and everything. Oh, that's so cool! And just all the plants just grow. They just grow oh. from it, guys. I feel like I've been talking too much. Anybody else wants to jump in and talk? I'm sorry. Hey, you. To be honest, <laughs> man, you you like the guest right now. We ain't never, you know, had you. You're in, you're new. Showcase. You're new people, yeah. and we're trying to learn about you. <laughs> yeah, so it's all oh, good. That's man. cool. We'll yeah. see how everyone does the the fish keeping and. Uh, everyone does things more or less the same, but with a little bit of difference, you know, between one person to another. It's it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We, just, with, yeah, within, within the thirteen tanks, a random fact about me: within the thirteen tanks in the room, I only have two, fi three filters going. Oh it's this one filter right here, which is a five gallon for a thirty-five. Um, <laughs> kind of the, the one filter right there, which is the another five gallon filter for like the babies, because I feel the babies should have clear water. And then the main tank, which has this bag system right here, which is just a bunch of bags of, um, what do you call this? The, the uh, media. Is, I have charcoal, I have um, the white rocks, yeah, the 
the, it's like a salt kind of thing. And then I have the pine cones. That's it. That's all I have in there. Oh. So it's not like a real filter. It's more or less like a filter that I made myself. But yeah, and all the filters, like, I am against filtering. Anybody, please debate me. I'm willing to fight about it. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I don't think they're going to do that, man, because like she was just saying, everybody have their own way of keeping fish. So we oh, be yeah, interested, well, you know, when somebody come in with, with something new and then you it's proven to work, you know, for what I'm seeing. You, you breeding fish, oh, yeah. you, you know, yeah. your plants look they, happy. So thanks. Look good. Yeah, fish look good. Yeah. Right now in this tank, this uh, this is where I put all the extra guppy grass and plants that I have. Is literally oh. plant holding. But... Yeah. All right, what's and up, I, And then I siphon the water from one tank into the other, so that the poop of the fishes just keeps feeding those plants over there. Nice. But that's yeah, that's my setup, guys. It how was you, honestly how you start a pleasure. out? How you how uh, did start, I start out? out? Yeah. Um, I started out with two little tanks of two point five, like this guys. Yeah. Um, and I got a trout in the lake, and a friend of mine handed me a bunch of guppies, and they they were in the shower bed, like in the shower bank, like. Yeah. I just kept them there, and then when I got shrimp, because I thought the shrimp would be cooler, the shrimp started dying, and I decided to start it, like, reading why the shrimp were dying, and I got this thing that I hyperfixate on things, so once I started finding out a bunch of fishes, I was like, well, let's just get another tank, and yeah. <laughs> I'm at 13 now. The MTS kicked in. Most oh yeah. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. One hundred percent true. Ah, right, that's what's up, man. Let's show you. You got some nice looking uh, tanks, bro. Thank you guys. Thank you. Anybody else want to show up their tanks? The floor is yeah, yours. Je I know Jeff <laughs> was showing off some whip tails, man. What you got? I know. Still feeding fish. Ah, right, Jeff still feeding the fish, so. I'll, I'll, I'll be showing up my camera. Thank Whip you guys. are gorgeous. All right, for sure, man. Appreciate you for nice coming up, Doc. Yeah, Je Jeff, uh, I mean, uh, Dale was, had a 12-hour stream yesterday. If y'all didn't get a chance to check it out, y'all go check it out, man. We had some, some good laughs. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that's always a good time. Yeah. Between so, your streams yeah. and my that's streams, that's that's anything that's goes, and it's great. It's like you never know what's how it's gonna pop off. It's just gonna pop off though. Let me see. Uh, he said pooping plants are the best ones. For sure. One hundred percent agree with that, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it like hey, every plant except for a fake one? What's how male fish? He said who talking hey, in the fish. background? That's uh, we got Adele, Jeff Kane, and uh, D1 fishing up here, man. What about you, Apple Funky? You gonna pop up? He said, uh, he said, what's your water parameters out of the tap, D1? If you know, um, I know I'm gonna sound like a, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna sound like a noob, but I have no idea. It literally comes out of the tap water. I live in Logan, Utah. And it just yeah. comes out good. I really don't test it. I don't know. Like Dang, I just got you really talk. Like with it. I ain't never met nobody from Utah. Anybody Dang. anybody from Utah that, that knows how the water parameters here work? I mean I can I guess I can Google it. So they down there keeping fish in Utah, man. Y'all heard it here on the fish radio, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
For sure, man. I was looking on the uh, map. It's not a lot of fish clubs in the United States, period, bro. Oh, really? Hold on. That's not a thing. Like nah, a, there's, it's there's not a lot of fish clubs. In here in the United States? No. Yeah, that's crazy. I was looking at the map. We should make, like, I mean, the community... This community is getting bigger and bigger. We should just start making ourselves, you know? Exactly, bro. Man, I stay it's in, uh, in Texas. Yeah, I stay in Texas. It's only two or three. It's only three of them. One, like, 45 minutes away from me, and then two, like, uh, an hour or so away, a couple hours. But that's wild, sure? though, bro. I'm positive. I'm only, right. Yeah, only three, bro. Unless they not on the map, like the other people oh, not on the uh, the map I was looking at. Which map you looking at? It was a uh, aquarium co-op map. Yeah, they only know what gets turned into. Oh, uh, okay, okay. They may be water, but yeah, I was definitely looking, man. All right, what we got here? Chris say, "Jeff, that's a a nice small mouth." <laughs> Your profile picture, man. Nice. Yeah, just just be out there on the uh, kayak or the canoe. Kayak. Kayak. Be out there, man. Oh, Can't wait what, was that your partner with you there? Oh, uh, he said D one was uh was that somebody was, was talking to the shadows? Oh, yeah. he, he's my wife. My wife. Uh -huh. yeah, I think she was answering some questions when we. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that basically, you, you all in that man background, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's Funk doing now? All in that man background. How you? How you know he <laughs> wanted? You know, introduce his lady right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Funk. Uh, Craig say he don't test his water either, man. Out of the tap. Hey, Tommy, still with you. Jeff or the, the fish, Chris. My daughter is in Salt Lake City, Utah. I was just up there this past weekend. Okay, okay. Craig, yours isn't in a tank long enough for it to matter. It's yeah. like the boss. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. It could be aquaponic. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> Oh, shit. I am on the coast of North Carolina. Our water comes out of the tap 6.6 .6 pH and so soft you could use it as a pillow. God damn. Wow. <laughs> hey, what's up, Creek? Silver Creek in the building. He said, what up, y'all? Just wanted to drop in and say howdy before I call it a night. Yeah, man, I'm surprised you still up, bro. I appreciate you for coming through, though. You with, you with the night you with the night crew right now man we the night crew of youtube oh yeah so what up george i was definitely talking about jeff mouth not the fish <laughs> come on man <laughs> Uh, that's why I kind of laugh when I man, see I'm it. glad I find you guys. Uh, yeah, appreciate you, dog, man. This is where we be in here on good vibes, man. Just, we be kicking it. Just up, up, uplifting the spirits, you know? High vibrations. He <laughs> say hello, Amen to that, bro. He say, she seemed like the boss. Oh, yeah, <laughs> man. You know how that go. So I can't come up right now, but maybe in a little bit. All right, fam. I'm always working the Craig's live stream, waiting for him to discover another deadly snake. Bro, you be discovering snakes on, on your stream, Craig? Yeah, he, um, he found a baby brown snake, I think it was, in his backyard, and they're really, really funny. Yep. Oh, hell nah, bro. Because they have, like, a big them. field next to their house. Yeah. Man, that's that country living, man. Finding snakes oh, and stuff. 
like in the city you don't really see stuff like that down here but, i mean i live he, way out in the suburbs way, way he found the brown snake in his toilet oh no bro <laughs> 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 All the animals help, help you actually water. talk about a snake, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fathom got jokes, man. <laughs> uh yeah, though, man. So, Jeff, what what you uh, what's that optimal food mix, man? You you be using how your fish <laughs> breathe so much, dog? It depends on the day. Depends on the day. So you mix it up fresh daily, or? No, it's a lot of stuff. Okay, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> well, that's not, interesting, you know, actually. Bear dude. Funk so, had brown snakes in this tank <laughs> we saw it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> <He definitely is. laughs> He's got some things dangling in his face, too. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Australia is a dangerous place. Mm. Yeah, it sound like it, dog. Yes, it is. So that's how we like it. Yeah. Uh, wait, are you really from Australia? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, they from Australia uh, for real, bro. Correct, correct me, correct me in this. I'm, I'm a little naive on the information. Like, I have never set foot in Australia. I've been offered three times, but they tell me that they have this thing called um, spider season where everything gets covered in spider webs. Is this true? In some places, yeah, it's not everywhere. Oh, it's not all but Australia. Is there just is, like, like if you Google, Google it, there, there's like a town that they go through it every year. Yeah, no, I, I've Googled it, and that's the thing. I've seen the pictures, and I'm like, yeah, I ain't saving for it in Australia. I'm good. It's it's not everywhere, man. Uh, okay, yeah. like, like, like what there part, are spiders what part everywhere. Of Australia are clear? Sorry? Oh, you will encounter spiders everywhere you go? Just not to that extreme, no. Oh, okay, okay. So so it's like Puerto Rico. Like, there's actual wildlife around. Yeah, yeah. We have lots okay, of birds okay, okay. in my area. Um, lizards, skinks. Them kangaroos. Uh -huh. You got to watch out for kangaroos. Kangaroos, yeah. yeah, yeah. I see kangaroos on my way to work some, some weekends. Yeah, you just stay away from the drop birds. Yeah, you just stay away from the job. First man said Austra nasty. Australia doesn't exist. <gasps> oh, here <laughs> we go. <laughs> I'm not a paid actor, okay? <laughs> man, let's not go down that rabbit hole, please. <laughs> why do you why you say that? Every, I, every time. He said I just want to see a Bell's face lace monitor in the wild. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty cool. A uh, bell's face, phase, oh, lace monitor. Green screen, all green screen. I've seen a, um, <laughs> I've seen a pearl necklace. That they're pretty cool. So they you try and climb watch your leg for the wild up dogs. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. You mean Australia? Yes, it's a real. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's a real place. First class. To go What's to the to drink dog season. <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to meet him season. over here, aren't you? <laughs> Man, the best, best thing. will be the first one here. Best thing, best thing came out of Australia was Steve Irwin, man. The, um, crocodile hunter, man. Yeah, Steve Irwin. Yes, Irwin is. That, that, that guy was... Hey, shooting star, nice. Nice. That was the best thing came out of Australia, dog. Yeah, I don't argue with you there. What was wrong with Crocodile Dundee? He wasn't Steve. Bro. No. <laughs> He's not Steve. I mean, he ain't breathing. He ain't breathing much, so. He said he ain't what? <laughs> He's He's beating much, so I mean, yeah, Australia doing dunk season is like walking through the woods and every branch is hitting you in the face. 
てね。<笑>
has like wafers in them. So, <laughs> <That's> uh, <laughs> what do they call Craig? A bunch of candy from Australia that were good. So I tried it one time. That was way too many. <laughs> And then you didn't make it right. Man. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of Vegemite. They go first class talking about Phantom. He's going to come up, man. He's going to get on your dock. He's going to get so angry. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, thanks for the amazing opportunity. Nah, man, appreciate you for coming up, man. Shoot, don't be a stranger, man. Hey, it was nice time. to meet you. It's usually what we on in here, man. Yeah, see, even Craig said, if you spread Vegemite too thick, it'll ruin your day. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's one of those things you can't have too much of. <laughs> oh. and, uh... I saw this video of this guy from America, and he basically ate two massive jars of Vegemite with a tablespoon. It even He's have like, my, I can eat this, no it. problem. <laughs> and, like, as he goes, you can see him like about halfway through the second jar. He's regretting his life choices up to that point. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not Nutella. It oh, well. Won't be, you won't be looking for it tonight. Oh, man, I gotta, he probably meant to say Will. I know y'all didn't run him off like that. <laughs> D1 or? Oh. I always play yeah. nice with D1. We just don't play nice with too much. We promise. So don't pay attention to me. I haven't slept in two days. I'm a little goofy and delirious. Goofy and delirious. All right, man. So y'all excuse him. Man. <laughs> Ain't no telling what, my, oh, what that's he might like, say. That's like a license to mess with him now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't no telling what he might say, man. <laughs> nah, for sure though. What um? Well, uh, only Oscars at in, in plushy. I seen plushy earlier today. Yeah, so oh, uh, they might be over in um. He said, "I mean, I won't be a stranger, and that I will be looking for the next. I got, oh, yes. I got you, guy. I got you." He I said, didn't "We got a team with the delivery." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a team with delivery. What you got, Doc? Oh, what you got, Craig? They talking about team who might be the most dangerous out. Mm -hmm. like getting all your, getting all your information. Might want to watch them boys. Tamu, Tamu is dangerous, man. Yeah, that's why they're trying to ban TikTok and stuff, bro. Craig did a dub. <laughs> you hooked on Tamu. <laughs> I think T move get you hooked on T move. Too much stuff. As soon as you put your information in there, bro, they get to sending you all kind of offers and deals and. <laughs> if you can get like, past all the spammy stuff on Temu, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I can make it past. Like the spam. honestly, the deals Same that you're right. getting on it, all of those items, it's so much cheaper than what you'd buy them for in a store. Say <laughs> so D one is talking reeking. <laughs> All right, you gotta, you gonna wake up Mexicali up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> the last dude Ormy said he he went over there so he could speak Mexico. Oh, yeah, they... How you gonna learn how to speak Mexico, man? <laughs> he was tripping. I got an extra drip acclimation tool and a great set of aquascaping tools from Timo. Okay, okay. Stay one. They have some okay stuff. But they have rubbish too. Yeah. Thanks yeah. to everyone. Almost 150 subs. Thanks for all y'all support. You guys are amazing. Oh, right, for sure, dog. You already know where to come when you're trying to have some fun. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Come on, let the car club. Say, Craig. 
for sure, man. So I think this will be a nice time to do a little drop, man. So right now, like I say, we are streaming on all three platforms, Rumble, Twitch, and of course, YouTube. That's the logos y'all see on the screen. Y'all go head over there and go on and get down with Rumble, man. You trying to get paid as soon as you sign up on the platform. Just got to start making you some content. You already monetized. And the other logo up there, that's Urban Styles, man. That's one of my um, my homeboy uh, clothing stores that's down here in Dallas, Texas. You got a website. It's a... Uh, let me see. Let me make it bigger for y'all. 2711 South Bugner, you know? Shop UrbanStyles.com. You need some new threads? That's where you need to head. Go on and go over there to UrbanStyles.com and get you some fresh gear. So, yeah, man. Uh, let chat talking about. Hey, D1, pretty good. That's six times what I got for a few years. <laughs> D1, I was number 148. You really close. Yeah, man, that's one thing about the community, bro. They show love and support. We get stuff done around here. I'm going to drop down here real quick back into the chat. I'm going to hang out Got with you, these man. guys. All right, for <laughs> sure. Thanks, Got you, Carl. 149, D1. All right, no problem. Anytime. He said, Got you to 149, D1. So everybody went over there and subbed up to him, got got his numbers up. That's what's up. They stay showing support, man. What's up with you, Jeff? I'm uh, mixing up the brine shrimp. Got the brine shrimp. You made that yourself, the hatchery? Yeah. Every day. It's part of my routine. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Dedication. Dedication, man. Routine hey, helps man. me stay functional. Yeah. Keep, keep your brain fresh. Yeah. Well, it's monotonous. I don't have to think about it. I just do it. Appreciate it, God. Ah, right, you're welcome, man. He said, I was 150. Yeah, man, I just reached uh, 194. Good deal. Thing. It's going good. It's going good. They been showing mass support out here. Yeah, I started dropping some of the smaller channels on my uh, my Facebook, or not Facebook, but yeah. YouTube community page. Ooh, I'm almost at 1100 now. That's what's up. I know uh, a lot of people don't be realizing that in the backgrounds, it'd be people rooting for you. You know, you may not even know that they posted your page or, you know, them them put you in the, in your community. And yeah. It'd be, it be, it be people on your side, bro. So you may wonder, now hey, where do these two extra, two or three extra subs come from? It's because somebody like Jeff Kane then, then posted you on his Facebook group or something and somebody went in and showed you love just from that. So that that always be cool. I know, I, I don't know if people really be checking the community, man, all the time. Like the community posts on YouTube. It, it, it depends on your notifications. I get some people's and I don't get others. Mm, yeah, because I don't really get people... Um, notifications when they post on them but yeah i do sometimes i see it two days later it's been and popped up and said this person post say what's the yeah, youtube community page that's usually it, where i get it. it it's your page where you could just post like you know general stuff um yeah you do have to have a, a verified youtube account um i, I don't remember the hoops had to jump through to do that Oh, okay. But it, you usually find it like on your uh on your channel page where it say home, video, shorts, live, playlist, and then it'll say community. Yeah. And you know you have people be posting um video that they just posted or 
uh, somebody else channel they want you to go check out. But it's right under the uh, create button. So you can upload a video, you can go live, or you can create a post. I don't know if people really know about that, man, but start checking out people community pages. They be having a lot of good stuff on there without, you know, having to go live or make a, a video or a short all the time. They just post on a community on a community page. So I was uh I was so blessed yesterday. You all really showed up and helped to do something good for the YouTube community. Nah, for sure, man. Thanks for doing it, Adele. I don't have it anywhere on my YouTube. I didn't get to stay there the whole time, but I dropped in a couple times. Ah, uh, yeah, man. We was on that 12 hours, bro. The whole time, people were just coming through, showing love, you know, dropping donates. And she had uh, a few giveaways. It, it was pretty dope, though. One dude came through. He dropped like a hundred bucks. You know, people was dropping ten bucks. Twenty bucks. So it, it was pretty cool, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty cool. And then what? What I'll be liking though, um, when people they'll come through and they'll drop a donation, and then they don't they don't even worry about the giveaway. They be like, if I win, just give my prize to somebody else. They just show you like the, the generosity. They not really in it for um for the prize or to see what they can win so I think that'd be real dope she say uh, 12 hours was a long one it was a good time though Surf City was the MVP yeah that was his name Surf City he dropped that hundo that's cool. Said right, faith in humanity was restored. <laughs> hey man, we be we, we really be breaking the stereotypes around here, man. Everybody be coming together. No matter what color, shape, you ugly, you're pretty, it don't matter shit. Everybody be in here, man. Ain't, ain't no groups. We are the group. But yeah, Doc. I'm just sitting here uh, cooling myself. Had to separate the cichlids, Doc. They was over there fighting like cats and dogs, man. In the, um, in the cichlid tank. I don't know uh, what they was going through. I guess they voted the, the other fish out of the tank or something because... They all started jumping him, and I went over there. His fins was just ate up, so I had to put him in that in that half a tank that I was talking about. <laughs> I had to put him in there, man. Let him bounce back. He said, "Well, you guys are guys, saying, ah, man, it's the energy, dog. We, we we let our we let our light shine over here." What I see in this community, sure, God bless people, and then the people, they bless people. So, that's what's up. They voted him off the island. Yeah, bro, they voted him out. Because it ain't been no more fighting like that ever since I took him out. So, they was just after that one fish for some reason. Okay, thank God it's ugly. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. You you are ending your fish aggressive like that, bro, Jeff? Which ones, yeah. <laughs> they, they murder each other all the time. Yep, bro. That was <laughs> why I kept hearing splashing, just splash, splash, splash. I was like, bro, what's going on? I thought it was going to you know, chill out. Nah, yeah, they actually got into it pretty hardcore today. Yeah. I went over there. He was breathing all heavy. You know, like the little part in between they fins. Yeah. I don't know what that's caught, but that was gone on both both ends. It was gone. I was like, dog. Then it didn't make it no better. I had to catch him, so I think, you know, they probably stressed him out even more. Yeah. But he, he cooling now, though. I see he swimming and stuff, so he, 
Hey, cool. Man. He's like, car, you stopped the jump in. Yeah, bro, that was yeah, that was an initiation. <laughs> 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 yeah. But it's crazy because when I first put them in there, you know, they really didn't mess with them anyways. But as time progressed, they, they left them alone. You know, everybody was still coinciding. But it's like now it, they don't want nothing to do with them. Look over here real quick. Turn this on. Go see who all on on, uh, on the rumble real quick. Make sure I ain't missing nothing over there. Got to give me a chat started over there on, on, on the rumble, man. Rumble be bringing in some ducats. I guess they be paying like off the ads or something. Yeah. But they, yeah, they, they be paying over there already. You don't have to have no um, sub requirements. I have to start separating my six of pistol juvies. They're starting to get aggressive. Ah oh, man, I ain't never owned any of pistols. But ain't those like dwarf cichlids though? Yeah. Yeah. I had uh, a really nice. Um, McMaster, I think he was like four inches long. The uh, the really friendly Bolivian rams that everybody brings up are oh, so nice in the community tank. Yeah, chased them out of the damn tank. Oh <laughs> man, I them stuck up on top of the uh, frog, but it's all dried up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, it, and you got a lid on the tank too, right? I don't know. You don't know. Uh, no, the frog, frog bits my lid. Man, I, I had a fish do that jump right out of the tank. Devastated. I wonder what happened to uh, New Local Austin. Man. Probably took a, took a nap. Nah, I don't think this time of night he would do that. Man, the other night he ate some burgers and and, and, and drifted off on us. Really? <laughs> he was supposed to come. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That is funny. Ain't no way. I, I had tried out that new... Uh, the new streaming app, the uh, Evil Mux, EV Mux. I'm not familiar with that one. Yeah, it, it was pretty cool. Show a little different. Uh, Skipper and uh, New Local had came up that night. Nah, he didn't fall asleep on stream. Dog. <laughs> he, was he was supposed to come up, and I think he had. Took him a little down before. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll be up there. Shit, it was three burgers later. Three burgers later? <laughs> yeah, That's nah, funny. Me, me and Skipper was joking with him about it. Ah, oh, yeah, Father Mark, you definitely would, bro. What's that right there? This is a guppy string that I need to start working with a little bit more. Well, I think we don't. It's kind of hiding in the back there. Up on the top. You can see his blues. I like you got some good lights on it, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those blue little nanos. Is uh, oh, okay, Mr. Craig okay. still out there? I don't know. You said Craig. 
Yeah, Craig. So far, these guys seem to be doing okay. On day four or five or something like that. Oh, the whip tails? Yeah, I keep thinking of it to focus on. It's a whip tail, what? What, like, what kind of fish is that? What's that? What kind of fish is the whip tail? Uh, it's a large carotid, I believe. It's difficult to get it to focus on because they're so damn tiny. So far, uh, whatever system it is I'm using here, it's be doing okay for them. So, what the hell is that? On the, that's a snail? Yeah, that's a snail. Oh. <laughs> well, moving pretty fast. Yeah, he's probably hungry. <laughs> I didn't see the food. So are these like catfish or what? Yeah, they're like a like a playco. Oh, like um, armored armored catfish type deal. Yeah, they're still less than an inch long for sure. Got them in like a, is this a breeder box? Yeah. One of those, uh, blues. They don't like the light very much, though. Yeah. He said, how many did you get? I think you bred these, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Um, I have no idea how many there is right now. I won't count them until probably like uh, maybe three inches. So you just, just until decide, the, what's that? You you just decided to like, would you put like some sand and stuff at the bottom and leaf? Yeah, leaf? I tend to have better luck that way. But there's more uh, places for like Antizoria and that kind of stuff to hang out. Um, I'm not too into the sterile stuff. Is that little drip like adding something in there other than water? Yeah, it's a pickup tube. So that's that's the tube coming up into the tank or into the box. And then uh, that's the overflow. So it just kind of slowly drips over. The a sponge in it to keep the babies from flowing over. Uh, that might look cool though. What's well, the one that I've had good luck with? I've tried the net ones and stuff, and I just kill stuff on those. So, did the parents have the babies in that, or you scooped out the yeah. eggs and put them in there? No. I'd, they had the, so they bred in the cave. Okay. And I pulled the cave and put that in here with the dad in it. Um, I'll take you over to his tank right now. Uh, I made a short the other day. Yeah. Um, cause he, he had another female trapped in there. I think like two days ago, maybe. And that one ended up yielding no eggs. So open this time around maybe it did i don't think so though because he's not in his cave so yeah what? like two two females one male yeah two females one male is what's currently and that's uh that's um the adults great here's one of them that's one and there's nobody's a home in that cave, so they didn't drop. Cause there's number three right there. So that should be one mom, two mom, and dad. 
Damn, so they don't be they don't be fighting with the plecos? No. Not much anyway. As long as I got enough food. And these are those uh mini ranger plecos from the Dan's fish. That he got mis or he didn't misorder them. They were mislabeled from the person that where the wholesaler he bought them from. What do we got? Pony pants in the backpack there because you missed him that he got his butt kicked by the other one. Oh man. So is it Dan's fish or uh, Dan's aquatic? Dan's fish. You've been on Dan's fish before, haven't you? Yeah, I was looking for it uh, the other night, and I think I ended up like on Dan's Aquatics or something. But then I ended oh. up finding that I ended up finding Dan's fish. So yeah, Dan's fish got yeah. some nice um selections on there. Yeah, there's a uh, like a oh I'd say 14 inch ish like go uh, hides right there. It's a buy it. I can tell shit. It's dark back there. Yeah. It he doesn't like the light much. He said, how big do, does those plecos get? That's a good question. Nobody knows. There's a few different species of the ranger plecos. They're like one of the sailfin types. Um, there's one that only gets to be eight inches or so. And then... Uh, there's one that gets to be around 18 inches and one that gets to be around 24 inches so it's like a russian roulette thing nice. oh. i don't see any of the coolies up there boxes <laughs> almost the same i say the breeder boxes almost the same uh width as the tank yeah, these are only five gallons. But they sit uh, the long ways. Yeah, it's a smaller version. We got more Corys and the uh, Miller eyes. I don't know if I can get it with the light. First class said, what's, oh, uh, well, you just answered it, but the size of the tank. These are some uh, Nezzy swords and some barbs, and then um, E123 yellow, Cory Rio Nanny. And my uh, super dark Clown Killian Clown Placo tank. Did you Those get a lot of Plico these? Trash, eh? Did you get a lot of these fish from uh, Dan's Fish? or? Uh, some of them, not all of them, not. Yeah, so. And uh, this is the zebra tank. Yeah, the baby's nice. See, yeah, most of them are hiding. Nice, man. Yeah. There's still six of them in here. I've seen them all the other night. And this is a 236 tank, of which I almost those? never see them. Have you got those to breed yet? The zebras? No, they're still too young. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And then, uh, one of my colonies is shrimp. Dang, that mother 69 degrees? Um, yeah, she's 69 in there right now. Sheesh. It got pretty cold out and all the heaters died. Yeah. This is uh dwarf neon rainbows. Yeah, them are nice too. And then uh stir by quarries. <laughs> is those the ones with the little heads, man? <laughs> nah, kinda. These ones don't get that bad though. <laughs> man, this is uh L134 leopard frog. They haven't been coming out as much lately. 
And there's also Venerubra, which is that feller. You only got a little bit of stales, huh? Yeah. I used Just to pull them for the puffers, but the, uh, the puffers kind of keep it. And then, uh, this is what's left, left of my better rubrus. Where the hell are they? That's more scales. I'm gonna be in shy. That's a lot of scales, bro. Um, Buffer have a field day. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's happy good. there. It's two in there? Uh, no, just the one. I think he might be on eggs again, though. Yeah, he's doing something. He's usually not fanning. Like he's fanning him, yeah. And this is, uh, some flabbies. Let's see if I can do this right. I'm killing the camera. Some flabbies and some uh, chocolate persimmons. Which looks like it's not going to let me show this one. There's one of them. And how old are those uh, chocolates? About how, you know, about how What's that? About how old are those chocolates? A uh, couple months. A couple months. Yeah, and these are uh, albinos. Yeah, first class. He got he got some nice tanks. Some uh, some of them are long pins, and some of them are short pins like that guy. Shark fin plicos. Short. Then this is uh the next batch of them. It's another one. Like if you're hiding in that junky moss. Yeah. And these are short pin super reds. These guys are all pretty close to the same age. Hold all the caves around the same time. But that's dead. These are long pins. Ah, oh, yeah, they're my nice. And that's the super red dad. No, that's the uh, albino long thing dad. Oh, okay. And then, okay. uh, like, this is one of the moms. That's one of the moms. That's one of the moms. He has a tendency of trapping multiple females. <laughs> L. Fish said that he told me he was just getting back into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am just getting back into it. These are baby blue eyes. <laughs> from, the sound of, from, from the sound of it, he really feel like you yeah. lied to him, bro. <laughs> Let's see, that, that is a uh, 173 B. And then behind him is a 173 B high grade. That's an itty bitty. Illy? Zero four six. Yeah, these are endless. That's one of the lines I'm working on. Oh, bro, that was cool. Uh, I was I was wondering wait. why why like some of the male guppies look like. Wait, wait, I, was, I was wondering why the endler looked like some of the male guppies, but then I I later found out that they was mixing them. Yeah, they're basically like, the same damn thing anyway. Yeah, it's like a hybrid. Like that one, that's right there. If you catch them right, you can see the red that's underneath the yellow. And that's what I'm going for. Just so you, you, you trying to right. bring out more, you trying to bring out more of the red? I'm trying to not exactly. I'm trying to keep it as an undertone. Okay, <laughs> but I want okay, okay. like a red undertone with uh, yellow and black over the top of it. And so you basically these, doing like a selective breeding. Yeah. These are uh long thin calico. So 
It's a long thing, super red calico. Some of them are coming out as pure long thin legs. There's a good calico. This something you created too, or this something I already No. This, this is one that I bought as a line. It's just not lined out very well. So it's still okay. throwing super reds, not just the calicos, which the super reds are worth more than a calico anyway. Um, as long as they all come out long, then I'll be happy. And we got our baby bike wars. We're getting pretty damn big now. He said they're looking there amazing yeah. and super healthy. Nah, I agree. I don't keep my tank super clean. I mean, These guys are getting some size on them. Now with the babies, you can't. Yeah. Um, it creates too much work. I work too many hours to, to have the time to babysit them all the time. So them are growing, growing pretty nicely, you know? Yeah, they are. Um, none of them are ping pong ball size yet, but same marble. Yeah, Jeff, it, it rolls up the Blackmore's goldfish, man. <laughs> Let's go. That's right, buddy. That's about the end of them. Um, got a uh, couple on the other room that are like green water right now. And my, uh, my bowl for my Achilles is, uh, it's got a brown algae on it that all of a sudden appeared. Uh, right, so I can't see any of the damn thing anymore. Everything is on his uh is on the individual system, or you have some tanks running together. No, they're all uh air. So they're either a sponge filter, a matten filter, or under gravel, except for like the Oscar tank. That's uh We've got two canister filters on it plus two matten filters and it still don't keep up and then uh like the the angel tank with the big long thin uh male that's got a matten filter as a pre-filter for a canister so what material do they use to uh um, tie that yarn together or whatever that is. Yeah, the, the, little, the, yarn? the little breeding mop, yeah. Oh, uh, that's what, uh what they use to tie it together. This is a uh insulating or insulation from uh piping. For like three quarter copper. And then I just tied it on it. So I just looped it around and then tie it in a knot. And end up with that guy. And these were just put in there to give the itty bitty fry cover while the parents were still in there. Uh, try to get a little bit more survival. Uh, and then it gave uh, some of the younger fry a place to hide from the bigger ones. I, I did the goldfish wrong the first time. I should have uh, left them in there for three days and pulled them. Instead of leaving them in there for two weeks because it gave too big of a gap in the fry size. Ah. Uh, they ate them up. Yeah. Well, the parents ate some of them. The ones that they missed, they ate the smaller fry. Um, there's still a good amount of the smaller guys here, too, but... There's uh, one itty bitty guy down there. I don't see any more of the hair like ones so. though. But I'm not sure how long I'm gonna have to hold these guys before I start selling them because I want to make sure that they actually turn black more because I've never raised them before. Uh, okay, okay. 
Um, and I don't know if there's a possibility for just getting a regular goldfish, you know, just regular fancy, <laughs> or, if or if they bleed, breed how, like hundred percent. How would that be? Po how would that be possible? Um, well, black moors are man-made, oh. so I don't know if there's a genetic in them that comes out as uh, just like a silver goldfish or a black goldfish instead of having the, the googly eyes like the parents. Wow. Because I've never raised them all the way, so I don't know if, if it happens or not. And I just don't want to sell a fish and then have them not turn into a black moor. So, oh, so you saying you didn't always bought it while it was already a black moor? Yeah. Yeah, when it was already a black moor, yeah. yeah I've, I've never raised them from this from the scratch before. So you never seen like a, a juvenile one at the store? No. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen one under two inches at the store, honestly. Yeah. So it could end up being two inches as the, the key. I, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to keep that damn long. Yeah, I know you said it was man-made. How you believe they do that? Man-made? Uh, by breeding for genetic defects. That's how they came up with fantails. And then after they came up with the fantail, they... Yep, pushing for color morphs, and they got the black moors, and then they got the uh, orandas, and the what is that other one? It's a uh, oranda still has the back fin. The uh, we see you too. Shiruku? might be Shiruku. has the jelly head but no back fin. And then, uh, there's another one that's got big puffy bags underneath its eyes. Yeah, I saw those. I saw those before. Yeah, those ones I don't like much. That's, uh, that's a problem. Even the randas is kind of, um, you have to tr trim the wen on the jelly that's on their head occasionally. What's, what's ranchu? That's a, Type of Grand Shoe, that's that's the one that's uh, oh. got a jelly head with no back fin. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, them them jelly heads. I don't, I don't know about those. Yeah. We need to pull that little zebra out, move them over by the other zebras. When I got him, he was like half that size, and he was 150 bucks. I'm pretty sure he's the last one. I bought three of them at that time. I said the dad got uh, calico bristling off. Like when that mug move, it, it move everything out the way. Yeah. He needs to be getting on eggs is what he needs to do. Man, that's exactly how I be when uh, my catfish move, bro. When new mugs yeah. move, everything. The, it's kind of the that male back there's the patterning that I'm going for but I want that red underlay I think this just kind of got it a bit yeah, that one look cool. he's got the red underlay really good and all they be trying to do is just breathe that's it yeah that's it all day yeah, I want to get the uh, I'm going to try to get the color locked in and then after the color then I'll Hopefully, be able to lock that tail fin into uh, a spade. So do, you spade just, tail. so, do you just make sure that the all the females are like? I'm guessing that's a brown color to keep. Yeah, the base? that's that's the end letter. Um, the females, if they have any color in them, is a uh, got guppy. These guys have guppy in them; they're not pure genders. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think any color line really is a true handler anymore um there's a few wilds but I, I i'm just doubtful i don't believe it there's a wild guppy females didn't have any color either 
y'all know the female guppies I had, like some of them look like that, but they had an orange tail, and then some of the offsprings come out looking like that also. You could use a whole Oh, that's the super red? No, that's a, uh, a beta. She's that's just... a beta? She's got like the red, white, and blue thing going on. Uh -huh. When I got her, she was uh, pure white. Oh shit, you can't even see it from the front. <laughs> no. That's uh, uh, give the, the fry some place to go. Yeah. What kind of plant is that in there that has the Kambamba. Of, like Kambamba? That's, that's yeah, like a mamba. Damn, dense. Yeah. Really dense in the center. There's a big stump that's pretty well hollowed out behind it. Bad. Rams in it. Rammies. Um, the tank's dense enough that it raises Rammies without blowing them. What's all it's, uh, 55. Well, it's not quite 55. It's an old school one that was close to 55. Bro, and, and that mugs. What's that? I'd say it's a 50, whatever size it is, but it's, it's like, it's well packed. You know, you, oh, yeah. you wouldn't even, yeah, you wouldn't even be able to tell. This is some more of those guppies or the handler. These ones more have the film. That's an under vac. That's an under uh, gravel vac system too, or no? No, this is Madden filter. Matt. So these little spitters, because the filter is getting plugged up again. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Let's in the right spot. She was eating up uh, baby long thin calico, so I had to move her into here. Uh, so she's part that? of my guppy control. What's that like? Some some dwarf lilies? Nah, uh, uh, frog bit. Frog bit. Yeah, frog bit, and I don't think there's any uh, red root in here. No, I pulled most of it out recently. Um, they were just uh, like some kind of a ladybugs were laying babies on them. Was, like, the biggest problem was so it was getting all funky. Yeah. And like, uh, you see that off of this stuff, it looks kind of wishy. That's from the ladybugs laying eggs on it. We're doing something, I don't know. But they messed up my damn plants. Because otherwise you go... You know, like this. Oh. So it, all having, frog bit and red root. Having that many plants on top doesn't, like, deplete the oxygen? No. No? No. Here, I'll show you one in a second. Hey man, appreciate everybody that's still in here watching. You are on the Fish Radio. You are here right now talking fish with Jeff Kane. This is a filter this bowl. There 
Because you know everyone doing this. Future is bold. Yeah. Like no, two and a half gallons. Uh, two, and a half, two and a half or three. But right now it's got the uh, damn build up on it. So it's got this brown LG. It's been going for about a year now. It's official. You know, it it. Yeah. It's a clown killies. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's right there. It's one of the females. It's a good producing tank. Jeff, Jeff keep tanks like me, packed with plants. Yeah, lurking. I picked up a bunch of marbles at Goodwill today, trying to get them sorted and figured out. For sure. I need to get in here with a rag though and clean it off. I need to be able to see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, right here, is. Oh yeah, this crayfish out in here somewhere. Some must have found a funny spot. Yeah, they're uh, what are they called? Uh, it was a it was a blast, guys. And these tanks look amazing. They're actually natural tanks. See you guys around. Good night. Hey man, appreciate you again, D1, for stopping by, man. Later, D1. There's one of them. Catch up with you, Doc. First Me class, you, collect, you collecting them, Jay? Indeed, FCF, especially antique marbles and contemporary art marbles. Okay, okay. Hey, he said J Rocks does stuff, and that's actually what he do. <laughs> he does stuff, you feel? So Y'all go check him out, man. For real, you never know what J Rock do. Man. Um, these guys are in baby making mood. They're kind of destroying their uh, oh, table let again. Me see. Who? What's that, a tortoise? Yeah. That's Chiana. Nah. Hey, it's Jeff Targo. got some everything, man. Chiana's uh, uh, dog. She's getting ready to lay eggs again. They lay on me and off, off inside the box? Um, then they go up and up in here incubator you uh you had some before yeah i've had some um i've never gotten them past uh the beginning of stages um i always end up losing them uh, before the eggs yolk sacs all the way had healed up but why i did it a couple times and then i quit trying why you think that is um, possibly didn't find the eggs at the right time, moving them around. Don't you got to set them, like set them back up how you found them or no? Yeah, you do. And if you uh, set them wrong, then it doesn't go well. Yeah. She's mad at me. <laughs> You walk right past you. Let's see. How are you fettered today? Those marbles you had as a kid, some of them sell for a hundred dollars for a single marble. Get out of here, bro. Why? Why is that, Jay? The ones I got tonight are red, clear marbles, ruby. But when you hit them with a black light, 
they light up different color swirls. Some of mine were from my grandpa. <laughs> That's cool, baby. How much for a marble eyeball? <laughs> Those are expensive. So that's why you be making them stands and stuff for them, huh? Yeah. Nah, that's cool, bro. Mm, I can show you that stand, I guess. Made from. All lights are going out on it. Huh? So oh, my lights are going out on it. But... Let me look up these minerals. So you got the 75, and you got the fives, and then. I'm at the very bottom is the tens. Oh, okay. So that, that one holds uh, ten tanks. Oh yeah, that's player. You built that or you bought it? What's yeah, I built it. You built it? Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna change how I did it. If I would have done it right out here. Yeah. Because it's for, you know, it's out in the living room. I built it for the 75 on top because that's uh, kind of a main display tank, or it was at the time. And then uh, the fives and the tens were intended to be just breeding tanks. Um, but realistically, for working out of the tanks, the 75 should be on the bottom, and then the smaller tanks should be above it. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I remember you saying something about that. Yeah, and you have to be careful how much space you leave yourself. The bigger the tank is, the more you need. Um, I got a, a 125 that I'm thinking about putting as a base tank for five gallon tanks above it. Uh, but I have to uh, do some measuring before I make that, that decision because whatever goes there is going to be permanent. And it's going to go on a wall that has my slop sink and like a packaging table. But I just have to plan it out properly so I don't end up screwing myself. Oh, okay, for sure. Nah, Jay talking about these old marbles. The must got a, what is it? Cadmium. Yeah. Off inside of it. It says like certain foods such as shellfish, kidney, liver, mushrooms, and root crops contain especially high levels of cadmium. Among so is a natural. Uh, Jay gonna eat the marbles? Huh? Jay gonna eat the marbles? <laughs> Nah, he, he looking for like antique barbers and stuff. Yeah. I think he make like marble holders. I gotta go for a bit. I got a big head I try. Nah, for sure, man. That's a bit. Appreciate Later, you class. coming through. He said no you more. Nah, you been night, man. <laughs> a fat number. Marbles in your nose, man. Yeah, but no, I see why the mugs so uh, expensive though. They could they contain uh contain some good minerals. He said dozing off here. I was cooking like heading out bed night out. Yeah, you know, bro. Once you stay up late, damn near every night, eventually you're gonna have to get some rest, bro. <laughs> yeah, good night, Elfie. <laughs> You're working on that uh, fish room video. Uh, for real. I ain't found none of that. They usually smell. <laughs> they usually don't smell. But nah, bro. That's what's up, man. I see why you why you be staying busy with the fish, though. You, you got a nice selection. Shit. And you got two. Yeah. I had four tortoises for a while, but that was too much. Uh, Russian tortoises, so they didn't get pretty big. But uh, it was just a care. Four tortoises was too much. <laughs> Bro, them mugs, you got to lead them mugs to somebody in your wheel or something. 
Yeah, my youngest daughter. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna outlast you. Um, I don't know about that. The, the mail will let Stargo yeah. on. Um, whenever she gets established and stabilized, she wants to take him anyway. But uh, Gianna's, she was pretty old. Um, her shells were all jacked up from uh, malnourishment from when she was little. Yeah. Uh, but uh, she's, I like her. She's got a good personality. But the, the t table that they're in, they're, they're considered a tortoise table. It's just basically a, a build it yourself aquarium that doesn't hold water. Like a plywood aquarium that doesn't hold water. And uh, yeah. it's three feet by four feet is the floor space on it. So it, it takes up a good chunk of the living room. My wife's looking forward to it not being in the living room anymore. <laughs> They want to get it up out of there. Huh? Yeah. I didn't let her know yet that the amount that that sticks into the living room is how much I'm going to add on to that fish room. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's still ain't getting the space back. Nah, I feel that, dog. I feel that. Oh, shit, yeah, man. I'm messing around. I'm finna slide up off here myself, dog. Yeah. It's been grand, man. Y'all done roll with the car today. Appreciate y'all for coming through. Appreciate you for coming up, Jeff, as always, Doc. Not a problem. Showing us the cool tanks, man. Pretty cool tanks. But yeah, man, sure. We're going to do this again. We're going to take another ride, Doc. And I'm finna, finna sign off and, um, uh, Y'all be great, be positive, be you. Car out, man. Cool aquatic, we reefing, reefing. Fish in my crib, I got fresh, I got salt water. Salt on the rocks, I got all colors. All colors. I made a orange way out of all rubbers. All rubbers. Protein skimmer make all bubbles. Huh? Got fish for sale, I'm finna place the order. If it's rare enough, I'll cross the border. Huh? Perimeter checks, there's levels to this. Huh? Macro lens, huh? you see in the pattern. Snail shells, Museum of the Vatican. I'm coaching this game, Gary Patterson. Huh? One of this court verified, I let you in. I like my lives like ESPN. Just lost some Burnett, it called STN. It's part of the game when you destined to win. You see me online, I got questions. Check in.